Advanced arthritis within the knee most commonly causes severe pain with weight-bearing activities. So pain with walking longer distances and standing for longer periods of time. Oftentimes people with knee arthritis also have difficulty with putting their body weight through a bent knee with activities such as going up and down stairs, kneeling, or squatting. And the combination of all of that really make it challenging for them to do their daily activities. And as a result of that, they have a poor quality of life. A total knee replacement is often misunderstood as a, a complete knee replacement. A total knee replacement is really a resurfacing of the distal femur or the end of the thigh bone and the proximal tibia or the top of the shin bone. In those two areas where the arthritis is the most um, entrenched, those areas are resurfaced with about 10 millimeters of metal and plastic. Those metal parts are anchored to the bone with an acrylic bone cement, and then a plastic insert is placed in between the two. The undersurface of the kneecap is also resurfaced with that same plastic and held in place with the same bone cement. Establishing that range of motion in the first six weeks after surgery is critical. After the six week mark, the scar tissue that forms is going to prevent them from getting substantially more range of motion after that time. There'll be small gains on both ends of their range of motion after six weeks, but not major gains. So really it's the onus is on us as a team to coach patients well and for patients to engage in their therapy aggressively in that first six weeks after surgery. A total knee replacement is a very rehab dependent operation, meaning that the patients need to invest in their physical therapy in order to see a good long-term outcome to their total knee replacement. They're doing therapy exercises three times a day independently, and they're also going to a therapist's office between two and three times per week to have monitored progress of how they're coming along with their knee replacement range of motion and strength. And as people progress uh, from the time of surgery to two weeks afterwards, they typically are having um, pain that is less and less and less. The pain typically peaks sometime around the five or six day mark after surgery and then lessens as they get closer to two weeks. At the two week mark, most individuals are seeing the light at the end of the tunnel and are seeing the benefits of the knee replacement in part. What I tell patients is that by six weeks out from surgery, they should be on the break even point, meaning that they're better than they were before surgery. However, they're only about 50 to 60% healed. There's a lot more rehab that needs to occur. By the time that they get to three months out from surgery, they're 80% healed, and six months out from surgery, 95% healed. Full healing from a knee replacement comes all the way to a year after surgery. The last symptoms to leave following a knee replacement typically are activity-related pain. So walking two to three miles at the three-month mark after surgery may result in some pain or discomfort, but that should be less and less as they proceed from three months to six months to nine months to a year after surgery.